Daryl Sabera. Daryl, yes, yeah. who was, for people who don't know, he was from Spy Kids. Which was my first job, acting job ever, because I was an extra in Spy Kids 3. What? Yeah. So I distinctly remember watching him film whatever, because they filmed it at Six Flags Over Texas. Oh, wow. And I remember... Um, I, it was such a magical day because I was an extra and it was the first time I'd ever been on a set. And I remember watching him and, and Emily Osment, which is so crazy that it's such a small world. I ended up working with both yeah. of them and seeing so them sweet, again. So sweet, so nice. Yeah, and and yeah, seeing them and Taylor Momsen because she was in that movie too. And they were rescuing her from. Did you tell something. him? Did you? Did you tell them? I don't them know if I ever you... told him that. No, no. and it's, it's crazy because he went on to marry Megan Trainer. And now, you know, they have this adorable son with his glasses and, you know. That's so I haven't crazy. spoken to him in years. I hope he's well. He was, big, he was uh, uh, pretty famous when he came yeah. on the show. Mm -hmm. Like he was like, uh, because this is also, again, in the first season. So, yeah. you know, no one had seen the show before, but we all knew Spy Kids and we yeah, knew Yeah, of course. It was, was such a big franchise. Yeah, it was interesting. I, I really liked uh, uh, what he did, but he had a tough thing. Oh God! Because that the bit. running joke, Ugh. where he's like, the first thing is, the, uh, he's being picked on. Because he's a wizard. By the way, I don't think down the road there were a lot of other. No, he was like, one of the few. Oh look, um, there's a, another, another wizard, wizard at no, school. It was always you know? like we went into the wizarding world, and there were yeah. wizards, or that was it. Well, there was it, never any in. The right, it focused world. more on the the family yeah. having the secret rather than there were so many other. I mean, then well, Disney loves a secret, and, and uh, yeah, of course they Disney do. Disney loves a secret. Mm, Disney. They're a secret pop star. They're a oh, secret shit, wizard. They're a secret. Forgot what no, I was okay. Saying. So you were saying he was really big at the time, right? Oh, and he season. had this gag where oh, where yeah. the the guy is the the. You wanted to forget guy. that gag. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, um, you, we're gonna go get a pizza because you know, you know, because of the zits on his face. And he's like, I'll show you a pizza. Oh my god! They drilled it into the ground, and I wasn't even in that episode. And I just remember from watching rehearsals, being like, "Shut up!" It was like, annoying, I right? Hated it. I don't know if that ever bugged him like crazy. I think. Uh, um Maybe there was something to that that somebody said that, and they were and it was annoying to the powers that be, I, the writers and oh god, people, just know? the worst. Because yeah. yeah, he did have a hard challenge with that because he had to try to make that funny right. twelve thousand times, <laughs> yeah, and it was right. just like, and the rest of us, and even at the end of the episode, his parents goes, "That was never funny." Right. Or something like that. Yeah, and that and I'm like, never, thank you. It right. wasn't fucking funny. When they pop like, out because they're under a spell. Yeah. They, they, they've been enchanted uh, yeah. and allow him to use magic whenever. F what do I say? Free Willy. I say free Willy. Uh, using magic free Willy all the time. <laughs> like the Willy Nilly or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, 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 I know sometimes when I have lines where I don't speak that way, mm -hmm. it's tough for me. And I always want to yeah. make it my, you know, using magic whenever well, you that, want. What's rather the thing than when you're free? like memorizing lines, you can always tell, not that I'm talking about our show, of course, but um, right. but you can always tell it like if something's not written well because your brain won't hold on to the words. Yeah. Um, Which is most everything. <laughs> no, no. no. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. If it's good, if it's well written, it's yeah. a lot easier to remember the Yeah, dialogue. your brain holds yeah. on to the dialogue. Easier. For sure. So I wonder if it's kind of the same thing. Uh, uh, or like how? your brain goes willy nilly, f like tries Did you to. Just say willy nilly? Yeah, because that's where you said it came from. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah, no, 100%. It's like willy nilly and like free will. I don't know. Yes. But like your I, brain tries to correct it. Right, right. Yeah. Free willy rather than willy nilly. Um, I. I it's very interesting to me mm -hmm. that I try to change it, but then the job is to make it work the way that it's written. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I, I used to go on auditions and I would add here, there, and you know, and like I would I still, always, I still if there's a button, which everybody who doesn't know is the <laughs> last thing go. that's said in in a scene, mm -hmm. we call it the button or for a joke, right? Yeah. Um, and I always would add stuff. And I, I recently took an acting class, recently, five years ago, um, where it was taught by a casting director. And he said, I, it's better to stay on book. It's better to do the exact lines that are written mm -hmm. pr rather than adding things. Now, listen, I added I, a, I a lot of stuff. stuff so. and Because and to me, I'm like, unless it's Aaron Sorkin, get over yourself. You know what I, I mean? I auditioned for him. 
Did for, you really? Yeah. For oh, I'm so newsroom, he, right? Oh my god, and, I wanted to be on that show so bad. I auditioned for like, and I think it went to like one of Meryl Streep's daughters. You know, pick one. But like, it, it was, it was. Uh, I auditioned once for that show, and it was for um, like one of the like political, like um, on the road kind of like what do you call those i'm not very political. a political on the road like the person that like goes on the road with a with a campaign like uh, like younger like, people like a, will often do it like uh, like just graduated <laughs> we're, we're talking to two actors i don't know, like, I don't know. Like, yeah, like on the political campaign staff or okay, something so it. i was i was supposed to be on the bus with like right. one of um one of you know the main characters that was going on this um political campaign and i didn't of course i didn't get it because i'm not one of meryl streep's kids um, but darn, I'll have to work on that. Um, but, uh, yeah, sorry. That was I, no, a no, side just, note. I just, no, I, that no, show I'm, was I'm so good. I'm a huge good. fan. And, um. What'd you the, audition for in New Well, well, it was, um, uh, uh, one of the people got arrested and, uh, uh, Jeff, the famous person who's yeah, the lead, yeah, yeah. came in and was trying to uh, go to the, uh, uh, cop at the front desk who wasn't giving him the time of day he was like uh-huh who is yeah. it what is it you know like yeah. you know forget it but whatever he was a new yeah. york guy yeah. and uh it was a callback it was me uh i can't remember his name he did the voice of the robot on futurama really nice oh sweet yeah, yeah, guy. yeah. I, I can see his face and he he's the one who eventually got it but i went in super nervous and i had to say like really tricky you know like dialogue that there was words that were not going into my mouth properly yeah, but i yeah. i tried my best and he was gonna read with me aaron sorkin was, was gonna there, read reading. with you he was gonna do that and i was like oh even my more God, nervous. i would have died and you know because i'm known more as a comedic yeah. actor uh you know do you do you make a joke do you do you act yourself in the audition room and then go into serious stuff i don't know but he drank a uh, he goes, I'm going to read with you. He took a sip of Diet Coke and then started choking. <clears throat> he was choking. Yeah, He's choking. Yeah. And then I said, are you going to be able to read with me? <laughs> Dead silence. Nothing. Nothing. I was like, I should just fucking leave now. It was over. And then I fucked up that word. And I was like. Which in him you can't. No, you can't fuck up anything. It's like it's Neil so, Simon. You have to do exactly. Mm, right? It's so. It's Neil Simon. It's Shakespeare. It's but Aaron my body Sorkin, got like My you. buddy got the part. So I was happy that he. That's good. That he did the now show. Now I want to rewatch that show. It's so good. It is. That was Newsroom. It was a, a great show. What is yeah. Jeff Daniels. Jeff Daniels. Yes. Jeff Daniels. Oh, my God. And I think like Jim was the character that he was getting out of jail. Because I think I remember that episode. Oh, really? I think so. Yeah. Because it was like the really smart. Which who of course the actor I had like had a crush on for five seconds because that's just me. You had a lot of crushes, Jen. I you know I, I'm talking to my therapist about it. It's a whole thing. Um, I have a lot of crushes. I enjoy. It's I enjoy not a bad men. thing. It's okay. Yeah, yeah, I enjoy men in their presence, and that's a good thing. Yeah, it's it's been a dry spell. I won't talk about it. Okay, back to the show for a second. Yeah. Um. We, I was watching it as I do with my wife, who has never seen the show, so it's nice to kind of see her unbiased yeah. opinion. Yeah, yeah. There's a moment where at school, Selena is watching yeah. Daryl, my brother Daryl, and my other brother Daryl from the Bob Newhart show. I got it now. I'm locking there you go, it there in. You go, there you go. Name association. Reference, reference. So he gets stuff spilled on him, and he goes to his locker, and there's like a, yeah! a, a, a little shirt. It's that like come the Jetsons out. closet or and something. It's like a, um, the thing where you do your dry cleaning stuff yeah. is on there, you know? Know. But they were like tiny little crop shirts. Yes, exactly. And Except then he, now the girls just wear that. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> I should wear a crop shirt. I, my wife started laughing so hard at, at that, that bit. Yeah, she thought it was really funny. She goes, "No question." Oh, did she laugh on. funnier? Like laugh funnier? <laughs> did she laugh more at that bit than any of your bits? No, are you kidding okay, me? Good, of course okay, not. Good. She can stay. She, you I, can I stay. Always, <laughs> I do this disclaimer. I laugh at me, and then I look at her and. And, and she looks at me and, and I go, it's funny. She but goes, no. <laughs> but honestly, it's a lot of pressure when you're watching. Because I've been on, on, I've never actually, to be honest, I've never had a partner watch with me before. I've had partners that they're like, watch my shit. Um, but I also have terrible taste. So that's okay, on me. But with, but with, with friends, you've watched no, it. No, the show? No, no, I've never watched Wizards with friends. So so wait a minute. I've never watched Picture Jen Stone. Oh, you only watch the show just by yourself. Only, But that's what I'm saying. It's so <laughs> sad. Like it's literally, it's, it's. I can I, watch it. I can rewatch with you I if you want. I float out of my body and I judge myself <laughs> as I'm watching it. Because it literally, it's, 
when I let go of the idea of me watching myself, it's fine. Oh my God, that's so fine. And I can be nostalgic and I can enjoy it. But when I realize the absurdity of what's happening, where I'm like, I'm sitting alone, alone, alone at home with my cats, watching this show by myself and it's, Listen, it's I love you so much. You're painting mortifying. a really interesting picture right now. You can say a dark picture. It's a little dark. Thanks so much for watching that clip of Wizards of Waverly Pod. If you want the full episode, head over to our Wizards of Waverly Pod YouTube channel at the link in the description. And if you just can't get enough and you want exclusive weekly bonus content, join our Patreon now. There's a link in the description for that too. Imagine that. Thanks for tuning in.